What up, dudes? And do that. ZR Car here. Just want to give you a little update on the 2020 Honda Passport Elite Hitch Project. So, remove the piano black valence. This one comes with the hitch. This is the infamous kick step the sensor for it so basically I just discode the uh, plug right there and left it disconnected so I know you can get an adapter I might do that eventually I just really wanted the hitch for now so I kept a couple people talk about why I would even need to remove this. And if you get the aftermarket, like um, Kurt makes a aftermarket hitch, it just, it drops below this valence. So instead of right here, it'll be another two or three inches down. I just thought this was an overall cleaner look. Plus this is how Honda sells it with this OEM hitch. So, I decided to try this one now. I think in hindsight, I might have bought the aftermarket Kurt Hitch because at least I would have the piano black valent still. And I don't know if the kick step would have worked still. I doubt it. But I definitely wouldn't have had to remove it. Wouldn't had to take it out. So. This plug was kind of a bugger to disconnect, but I got it done. These uh, top snaps, there's like four of them in the top here. Those are a pain to get off for this rear valence. But as soon as you get this old one off, the new one is super duper easy to install. So that's why I went with the OEM instead of the uh, aftermarket Kurt Hitch. In hindsight, I probably would have just done the aftermarket. Um, so remember, if you're putting a, a hitch on the Elite model, you're gonna have to deal with this kick step. So here's the sensors right here. They run along the bottom there. And uh, there's the cannon plug for it. So eventually I can put that adapter on this new one. If I really think that I want the kick step for some reason. But it's not a huge deal to me. I just wanted the hitch. I, I did not get the harness, wiring harness yet. Um, nor did I get the... Um, transmission cooler so I'm stuck with 3,500 pounds and uh, I really just wanted it to have a tow point to tow point if I got stuck or this winter or if um, maybe I was pull, pulling somebody out so I've got my I kind of bur buried my hitch back here it's underneath there. By the spare, I've got my tow rope. So, at least if I can, if I want to move a trailer or something, I can. But also gives you a little bit more protection. I'll probably buy um, a newer hitch just to put on here because those pesky tailgaters. We'll hit that before they'll hit the passport. But got a couple of videos I'll probably post. Just kind of showing the process. I did have a heck of a time with those top clips. Ended up going behind the valence and doing it from behind. I saw a video that guy took a butter knife and slid it in there, but that didn't work for me. So. I had to reach up there behind the 
the bumper. I think the directions actually say to take this whole bumper off. And I'm just not super comfortable with doing that. So I did it the lazy way and reached underneath there and pulled those clips off. So I'll let you know if I have any changes. And if you got any questions, as always, let me know. Peace.